rebounds. Really has been a force here today. Hoyas lead it by a point, 143 in regulation. I'm surprised they have not gone to their three-guard offense now with the lead. Spread Syracuse out some. That's four on Hopkins. As they put Jefferson on the free throw line here at the 138 mark. Brett, one of the marks of a team that really knows how to get their offense going in half court is how many free throws do they shoot opposed to their opponents. In the case of Georgetown, they have made 60 more free throws this year than their opponents have shot. Hopkins off the miss, so the strategy pays off. Syracuse ball, down a point as Jefferson misses the front end of a one-on-one. The one-three zone, one zone stays. Alonzo on the baseline. Derek needs to step out on the zone to get his jump shot. Owens looking for a receiver as Matumbo would seal him up. Luis Matumbo has it. Knocked away, stolen by Derek Coleman. Wraps the ball up and ships it over to Edwards. A big move by Derek Coleman. I think they ought to bring Derek outside a little bit. Let him look for his jump shot. He's getting buried down inside on the zone. 26 on the shot and 40 on the game. Derek's not touching the ball. Owens against Morning comes up. Misfiring and it's Coleman and the foul inside will put Derek Coleman on the free throw line. Dikembe Matambo gets the ball. Doesn't realize Derek Coleman is coming in from behind. He really should have brought that ball down or got it off. The other thing on that play, Brent, if Derek had taken that ball down under control, he'd been walking, obviously not. So it's only fitting that after four years, Derek Coleman's career at the Carrier Dome comes down now to a pair of free throws. He misses the first, and now a chance to tie it. Ellis into the lineup, and Edwards will sit down. He'll go big for sure. rebounding purposes and for and defense. defensively. I'm surprised Craig Eschrick doesn't come back with Edwards himself. He is. This is David Edwards in for the Hoyas. See, now they can go with their three guards. This is exactly where Georgetown would like to be. And three guards Georgetown. and the ball. Love to have Charles Smith weave the length of the floor along about that. <laughs> Last shot time for the Hoyas. We're tied in regulation. They'll take their chances with a final shot. Edwards loses it. Out of bounds, tied up. And it's Georgetown's possession. So seven seconds to go, and Eshrick wanting a timeout. with a seven-point game. And he puts the Hoyas ahead. And now, Matambo drops back for defensive purposes. Jimmy Beheim probably wanting to get the ball up the half court and call a time. He's Four got seconds, they'll have to hurry. He's only got one timeout left, so I think he should get it up the half court first and then call the time. Not call it right after this shot. Nice throw. Mixon both. 81 79. Four seconds to go, and the final timeout for Beheim. We'll be right back. It's the fresh cracked grade A egg. Canadian style bacon. Golden melted cheese on a toasted English muffin that gives Egg McMuffin that classic one-of-a-kind taste. It's the two all-beef patties 
special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, and onions on a sesame seed bun that makes Big Mac a -a one-of-a-kind classic. Big Mac and Egg McMuffin, two great tastes, only at McDonald's. Yo, Mars Blackman here with my main man, Michael Jordan. Yo, Mike, what makes you the best player in the universe? Is it the vicious stunts? No, Mars. Is it the haircut? No, Mars. Is it the shoes? No, Mars. Is it the extra long shorts? No, Mars. Is the shoes it, right? Nah. Is it the short socks? No, Mars. Money's gotta be the shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. shoes. You sure it's not the shoes? I'm sure, Mars. What about the shoes? No, Mars. Money's gotta be the shoes. Well, this game has featured just about everything. In the first half, Coach John Thompson was ejected after picking up three technicals. Jimmy Beheim and his Syracuse team turned it into a 10-point play. Now Alonzo Morning two free throws, put the Hoyas up 81-79, four seconds to go. The clock is ticking. It'll be Owens. He'll have oh, he called one. a foul! He called a foul! foul. foul. He's been called on the Hoyas. And Why Billy Owens Jefferson... will come to the line at the one-second mark. Why would Jefferson have contested Owens? He has got him 40 feet from the basket with no opportunity to take anything other than a desperation shot, and he reaches in on the dribble. Georgetown's playing exactly what they want. No reason to reach in here. Yes, one and one. Jimmy knows he got a reprieve there. He said that's a foul, and he's right. Now the front end, and Anthony Allen tries to get on the floor to give the Hoyas a little more size and experience up here. He has checked in. And the Hoyas will attempt to freeze Owens a little bit with a timeout. And Billy Owens, a 74% free throw shooter. will be decided in overtime. Overtime, Georgetown and Syracuse tied up at 81. Brent, both get an extra timeout here, so both teams now have one timeout left, but you don't get extra fouls, so Alonzo Mourning sitting on five. Edwards and Syracuse ball. So the careers of Derek Coleman and Stevie Thompson just ran in. And on the turnover, Hoyas ball. Brent, you often see an overtime go with a team that has the momentum. These clubs in overtime against each other are two and two. Oh, there's a hold off. That's number four on Coleman. Now Syracuse wins it. They will be seated number one in the Big East Tournament next week in Madison Square Garden. It will be tied with Connecticut, but they win the tiebreaker. But if Georgetown wins this game, there will be a coin flip immediately after the game between Georgetown and Connecticut to determine the number one seed. He has played a splendid game here today. He has really been a mighty warrior, hasn't he? Gone all the way in the second half for the Hoyas, 17 points, 10 rebounds, five block shots, can't do much more than that. You know, he just wills them in in the big game. He doesn't have great technique in that foul line, but he's such a competitor. He just forces that ball down the hole. Back to the zone. Steven Thompson, captain for the tie. Billy Owens. And Owens now with 21 points. Derek picking up full court. Better go back down and get good position against Matambo. Matambo. 
morning, deep to Matumbo, and it was a little bit too high. It's hard to say that when you throw the ball to Matumbo, but that one was. Alonzo had a good idea, but he was off balance with Ellis coming out there to try to make the steal. Thompson again getting inside, but now it'll be Owens. Oh, that's a two. Close, Close, but only a two. When she hit that jumper from the other side, he has been on fire in the last four or five minutes of regulation and now in overtime. Largest on-campus crowd ever to see a college game. 33,000, and are they getting their money's worth? You know, Stevie Thompson has really shut Tillman out of late. And Bryant is fouled. Owens reached in on him, committing his third personal. And of course, we're going to be going right to the NBA as soon as this Big East action is over. The Bulls jump ahead. Brennan, NBA action. How about what Ronnie Cycli of the Syracuse man has been doing lately? And a, a center from Georgetown not having a bad year either. Patrick Ewing. Maybe MVP proportions. Jimmy getting advice from everybody right now and wanting to hold it on off. Bryant who also has played a fine game here today. Will attempt to tie it. 313 to go in overtime. Deadlocked again at 85. Bryant trying to hide behind the Syracuse players to make the steal on Edwards. Billy gaining confidence with that jump shot. Good ball fake. Coleman wants to go to work. What's happening right now, the zone is so porous out front, Syracuse is dribbling the ball to the center and getting easy shots. High low post action. Trying to get Tillman free. Can't do it. Phoebe Thompson, great defense. Great defense, and Jefferson hustles out with the ball. He saved it. No, the shot clock didn't go off. He said he was shooting the ball, and he doesn't get credit for a shot. It's a pass, so the clock down to five seconds. Rejected again, and Bryant comes back with it. Now, that should have been a shot. The shot clock expired. No, that should have been a shot. The shot was blocked. And when you release the ball on a shot and it gets blocked, the 45 seconds should have gone back on again. This is not the pro game. But they ruled that he was passing, apparently, because it's Syracuse ball, 87-85 Orangeman lead inside of two minutes. Good solid screen for Billy Owens. Facing team movement here by Syracuse. And he has Georgetown spread out. Thompson battles his way in. Matumbo again. Derek Hambe Matumbo up with the loose ball, and Georgetown will come back and a chance to tie it again. Matumbo never even shows signs like he's weary. He runs up and down the floor both ends. Georgetown has not gotten a shot off in overtime. That goes on. There's their first shot. And Morning will step on up to the free throw line. And Brent, with Alonzo with five, I'm surprised that Syracuse hasn't at least one time tried to pump the ball down inside and get him out of there because he's such a force and a good free throw shooter as well for Georgetown. Now both Coleman and Morning playing with five personal
a one-point Syracuse lead. That's the time remaining in overtime. You try to and keep that time wants a timeout. He'll take a timeout here with 56 seconds to go. They'll have 36 on the shot. And Syracuse leading it by because now he has none left. Georgetown, big advantage in that respect. They also have the arrow in their favor. The only thing not in their favor, they're behind. They're down toward 25 ticks of the clock on the shot clock. It's about 20 second differential here. seconds on the shot clock. Got the ball in the hands of the right guy. Great pass to Thompson. It's a three-point lead. High low, trying to get Tillman open for the three. And Ellis reached in on Matumbo and fouled him with nine seconds to go. His fifth. But Brent with a three-point lead, the best they can do on this one-and-one -one situation is to be still down one. Now, it's a set play here. We're going to see Tillman coming off a double screen, trying to get him open for the three. Thompson does a good job fighting over. Mayheim watching from the Syracuse sideline. No. Well, it, oh, all he can think of is you make the first one miss the second one and somehow Alonzo Mourning or one of the other Hoyas gets a hand on it and taps it in here at the nine second mark. I think that was a blessing for Jimmy Beheim. and I'll tell you why. I think Tillman's the kind of guy you got to worry about banging in the three-point shot. Now a lot of things have to happen for Georgetown to get back into this a tie situation. Well, the first thing that's happened is Alonzo Mourning is off the floor. He makes the first one. Still nine seconds to go. What Morning standing. Well, here's why. Here's coaches. why. Here's why he's on the floor. They're going to foul immediately if he makes this shot, and they don't want Alonzo to have to be a guy to commit a foul. But they miss it, and they needed somebody to tap it. And it's thrown out of bounds by Syracuse. And Way right off. Missed everything. And Syracuse is the regular season Big East champion. tried everything they could to get Tillman the shot, but Syracuse's Stevie Thompson did a great job. It goes long. Tillman and Thompson rush for it, but Derek Coleman does a great job, and you can see what Jimmy Beheim thinks of it. He's been hiding over there all day. Stays with it. Big win for Syracuse. Huge. And as a result, Syracuse wins the tiebreaker because they swept Georgetown this year. They will be seeded number one. They'll play the winner of the elimination game between Pittsburgh and Boston College. Seton Hall will open with Connecticut and Providence against Georgetown. They're in one bracket. Syracuse and St. John's in the other. Now our Chevrolet players of this game, what a great game to Kimby Matumbo play for the Hoyas. And Derek Coleman, in his final appearance here in the Carrier Dome with 27 points, and a check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated to each college's general scholarship fund by Chevrolet. So for Billy Packer and Greg Gumbo, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm Brent Musburger saying so long for the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. In overtime, Syracuse wins it, 89-87. to Coming next, NBA action, the Bulls versus the Celtics. You've been watching CBS Sports coverage of NCAA College Basketball, home of the NCAA Championship.